today was not a good day. It was not a good day. I went to the health department to get me my yearly exam and um, I called the school board and I called the Section 8 office. I couldn't get my yearly exam today. Um, I didn't speak to anyone from the school board, but I did speak to a lady named Angela from the Section 8 office. And to be honest, the God truth, I feel like she was gaslighting me too by the things that she was saying. Okay? Like I said, I know my words. Okay? And when um, I'm in this situation, not because I talk too much, but because the same way I'm fighting here in Florida, it's the same way I was fighting in Alabama. So they basically know what I'm going to do, how I am. Like, they already know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm, I'm going to stand up to it. I'm not going to roll over and do nothing. Like, continue for this to happen because the more I stay silent about it, the more it eats me up on the inside. I'm going to make this video quick because me and my son, we just got home and I have to get up and go make him some food for dinner so he can brush his teeth and he can get in the bed. But I just wanted to make this video, maybe this video will make me feel better because right now I'm literally not okay. When I got to the doctor, the nurse told me that my blood pressure was high. So you guys already can imagine what I'm feeling right now. And so I got so overwhelmed today because I had to catch the bus to the health department and I wanted to fill out, um, recertify, well not recertify, but sign up for food stamps as well while I was down to the health department. But it's different here because they don't have a, um, a office that you can go to. They don't have an office they, they just don't have an office. So um, I couldn't get that done. And so I was feeling so overwhelmed, like with everything. I can just see them just gaslighting me and gaslighting me. Go in the room, baby, and wait till I'm done. And um, I'll be in there in a minute. So um, I could just see everything from, from the little cart go-kart thing being at the office this morning when when me and my son was walking to the bus stop from the argument that I got into with the lady at the at the bus stop from um everything the guy at the park everything right everything and so I ended up getting on it was the right bus but it was the wrong bus because it would it would have took me forever to get to my destination and I wasn't trying to be um I wasn't trying to take forever so I was I I was um I had to call an Uber but before I can call an Uber I had to set up my PayPal to pay and my phone this black phone here like it's just so stupid because whenever I start doing something in the phone, it just starts messing up. Like every time I have something important to do with this black phone here, it never wants to work. So that literally like 
added scratch onto the already scratch that I have going on. So um, I ended up calling the police. And I straight up told the police, I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. Like, I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. Like, why in the fuck he didn't take me seriously? Like, why? Like, I'm going, how many people you know going to admit that they're going crazy? Like, a crazy person ain't going to admit that they're crazy. You know what I'm saying? A crazy person is not going to admit that. But literally, that's how I felt. Like, I felt that way in my heart, in my soul, in my body. And literally, when he asked me what was wrong, I literally told him, I'm going crazy. I'm losing my mind. Like, I got all these people around here using me against me, like knowing the things that I'm going to do. And then they're talking to me like they know me. Like, you don't know me. Like, the man just now, I had to come, I had to um confront him like, are you gaslighting me? But he legit played like he didn't understand what I was talking about. That's why I know. And then, like, more deep into the conversation, he was like, girl, girl. I'm like, don't girl me because you don't know me. That's your problem right there. That's how I know people been talking about me because you feel like you can talk to me that way. That's a problem for me, for you to feel like that. Like, you don't know me. So don't sit there and talk to me like you know me. It's boundaries. It's respect. And it's like I can't even hold up my boundaries because of the people that's gaslighting me. And that pisses me off. That make me want to fight. That make me want to do everything. So the officer going to tell me, he was talking all good because I told him that I need to, I know I have rights because the people, the, the people in Alabama at the Section 8 office in Alabama had no right telling the people in Florida anything about me. And I know they did because how else are these people that live next door to me, that live in the office from me, that's at the health department, speaking to me like they already know me. Like they don't even ask me my name. It's like they already know me. Like what's really going on? I haven't even introduced myself. It's like somebody else has introduced me for them. So what's really going on here? So he literally did not want me to do that and gonna tell me I need to seek help. He gonna tell me I need to seek help and see about myself. And gonna tell me, he, 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 he kind of scared me saying that if another officer come and um he may not he gonna tell me i believe you i believe everything you saying but if another officer come then that officer may not believe you and you you might have to be baker baker ache whatever that junk called baker cracked whatever it's called baker bakered meaning being going to the mental hospital and like any other time he played on my emotions because he knew i had my son right here and my son sitting here crying. So he knew that I was going to choose that instead of the latter. He put me in the position. And so he going he gonna to literally tell me I'm crazy. I'm crazy. That's what he told me. And just like I told him, well, you can go ahead and baker egg me. Baker crack. Baker. Baker egg. Come on. Get ready. Like, if I'm crazy, that's why I need to be. I need to be there. Shit, I probably have more pieces there than here. At least I ain't got nobody manipulating my emotions. If that's where I need to be. And if, if you see that's where I need to be, why didn't you see me there? Why didn't he send me there if he felt like that's where I need to be? You see what I'm saying? So now I'm feeling like the police is is gaslighting me too because he went in inside of his car and had a long conversation with i don't know who and then when he get out the car this is what he hit me with that's why i told him when he got out the car i said i feel like you finna tell me some bad news then he's like, no, 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 no. I believe everything you saying, but if, okay, if you believe everything I'm saying, then what's the problem? Why can't you tell me how I can protect myself? Because I know I got rights, but he don't want me to have those rights. They want to take my rights away from me so they can mistreat me. And this is what I'm saying. This is what gaslighting is all about. They trying to plant and see and make me think I'm crazy. 
You know what I'm crazy about? Letting it go. That's the only thing I'm crazy about. Ignoring it. That's the only thing I'm crazy, crazy about. Not saying something sooner. That's the only thing I'm crazy about. The only thing. But speaking up and letting people know what's happening to me, I'm not crazy for that. I applaud myself for that. I love myself for that. I appreciate myself for that. And I'm not going to stop fighting, y'all, because I got so many people with their hand. They, they just passing me around. Everybody want to get a taste of me. Everybody. I swear to God, I wouldn't lie to y'all. Everybody is, is literally getting a taste of me right now. Everybody. And it's, it's very sad because it's just me and my son. I can't depend on my family. I can't depend on my child's father. So who can I depend on to help me? Like literally, I called the police today asking for help. And instead of him helping me, he told me that I'm crazy and just forget about it. Going to tell me, tell me, I don't worry about what people say. Well, you not me. If I worried about what people say, I wouldn't be speaking right now. And just like I told the police and just like I told y'all and I tell anybody else, I don't care what you think about me. You could think I'm crazy. You could think whatever. But this is my truth. And can't nobody tell me I'm right or wrong about my truth. And I'm going to speak my truth. Like I'm sick of it. I'm done. I'm at my breaking point. Like I'm sick of it. This thing been going on for too long. And I'm trying not to put my hands on nobody. I'm trying to... Be, and then he told me I wasn't rational. He, he literally told me, could you go in the room, please, Noah? Literally, he told me that I wasn't rational. I'm not rational, but what they're doing to me is. So what they're doing is rational, but what I'm not doing is it, not. So what I got to wait for? What I got to wait for one of them to beat me upside my head? What I got to wait for? For me to hang myself in the closet? What I got to wait for? For me to pull a gun on one of the motherfuckers and shoot them dead? What I got to wait for? Because I'm letting people know that these people are mentally abusing me. And nobody seemed to want to care. Nobody seemed to want to help. I'm literally crying out here. I've been crying for the last couple of days because every time I think about it, it makes me cry because I'm literally being mistreated and nobody is coming to my rescue. Nobody is helping me and I literally want justice and I'm not going to stop until I get justice because what you're doing, what you're doing to me is not right and I'm not going to let you get away with it. I don't care who you is. You could be my dad, you could be my mom, you could be my neighbor, you could be my a therapist, whoever you are. I don't care who you is. You it's not going to get away with mentally abusing me. So what I'm going to do next, I already contacted the Section 8 office. She already told me what I need to do to move from here, and I'm going to do that. The school board, the man... um. The guy at the school board, the superintendent, he left me a message, but I missed his call. So I will be calling him back tomorrow to see what's going on with them. Now, my next move is going out here to the courthouse to see what the fuck I can do to protect myself. Because this is not right. I'm not going to let these people drive me crazy. I'm not at all. I'm not going to let these people have my blood pressure up and me stressed out. I am not going to do that. That is not going to happen. One thing I got, if I don't have anything else, I have my voice. And I'm going to use it. And I have YouTube, and I'm going to use it as well. So, as you can see, my day has been miserable. Miserable. And I don't want company. My misery don't like company. I don't want no company. I don't want no Scratch that. I want somebody to care like, I re literally want to find somebody who cares. Because right now, don't know, everybody having their way with me. Everybody taking a turn with me. And that's the first thing people ask me. Do you have family here? It's like they already know that I don't have family here. Because that's the first thing the police officer said. No. And that's what I told him. Because when I said, yeah, it still was happening. It's like they already knew. 
because the people from Alabama. So whether I said yes or no, it's like they already knew. They already knew that I don't have family here. And it's a shame that my own family won't even have my back. Don't even have my back. I can't even go depend on my family and tell my family none of this that's going on. Want to know why? Because my family never stood up for me. I always stood up for my family. I always, whether it's my brother, my sister, whoever, even my brother who raped me, molested me, I stood up for him as well. Because that's what I believe. Family should stick together. My family never stood up for me. Edna never stood up for me. Never. I remember one time I was fighting this girl because she was talking about my baby cousin. Her name was Quadra. She had done got killed in, um, in a car accident. And this girl was talking junk about my baby cousin. I wasn't going to let that happen. So I beat her butt. Don't you know this lady went to Edna and told Edna and I got a whooping? You see what I'm saying? She knew to go to Etna because she knew how Etna felt about me. She knew Etna, Etna wasn't going to take up for me. Because I ended up cursing her out too. What you going to do? She went, and, she went and told Etna and Etna whooped me. Instead of having my back. But I can remember one time these people was talking about Drika. And she literally drove around there and her car popped the trunk and told the people who have, who the people who was messing with Drika mess with her now. So this is what I'm dealing with and I'm dealing with this. I blame my family because I have a child and I'm literally I'm literally doing everything on my own. Like it's so much. It's so much if I lose my mind, I have a right to lose my mind. Because I don't know nobody who can take half of the stuff that I put up with, that I take every day on a daily. Just walking out my door, I can feel people gaslighting me. You can feel it. You can feel something not right. So what you telling me, I, I, I'm not human? I don't feel it? I can feel it. I can see it in their eyes. I can see it in their body language. I can hear it in their tone that they're doing something to me. And I may couldn't I I explain it at first, but now I know what it is. And they can make it seem like that they're just walking by, but you know their motive. You know their intentions. You know what they're doing. It may look like to someone who don't know that they're just walking by, but no, nah, I, I know. I know. I can feel it. I know what, they I know what they're insinuating. Like my son's teacher just sent the little newsletter talking about don't stress. I know what she's insinuating. I'm not crazy. I'm not stupid. I catch your vibe. I feel you. I'm not stupid. I'm very intuitive. I follow my instincts at all times. Today has been one crazy day for, for, for a nun crazy lady. It has been hella crazy dealing with these people that I don't even know, that I don't even care about. Like, literally, these people are trying to kill me. Like, literally. Scratch will literally kill you, and they are stressing me the hell out. And I know people may say, you stupid because you feeding into it, yada, 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 yada. You don't know what I'm going through. You're not me. You may do something this way, but you're not me. So worry about yourself and do what you would do. Don't worry about what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do because I know what I've done. I know what I've tried, and I'm still going through it. And I'm tired. I'm tired of being silent. You're going to hear me today. You're going to hear me today. And I'm going to keep talking until you get tired. I'm going to keep using my voice until you get tired of hearing me. Then maybe you will know, okay, I can't mess with her. Like, I'm tired. I'm tired of everybody gaslighting me. I'm so sick of it. Everybody, even today, the guy sitting on the bench today, he literally was talking to me like he knew me. My son went over there and played. He was like, oh, do he have on his mask? Like, bitch, who the fuck is you? Like, literally. And 
and then my dumb behind feeling bad because I'm one piece of me saying, okay, he's just trying to be friendly. And the other piece of me saying, uh-uh, he gaslighting you. And I sat up there and talked to him and gave him my number and told him where I live. Knowing darn well he was trying to gaslight me. You see what it, you see what it does to your brain? You know what to do right, but still you choose the wrong path because that gaslight, it puts a doubt in your mind. Like, oh, no, you bugging. You tripping. Everybody can't be gaslighting you. You bugging. Yes, everybody can be gaslighting you. Yes, everybody can. This is a small world. This world is not big. This world is small. So if I feel like somebody gaslighting me, guess what they're doing? Gaslighting me. So I'm making this video to let y'all know about my day, what kind of day I had. And y'all know, if I die or anything happened to me, y'all already know who did it. Y'all already know who did it. His name was Sergio, some Sergio. He said he lived across the street from the um little, um, what the thing called, it's not the community center, it's called something else, but it's like a little park or whatever. And he said he lived with his boyfriend or whatever like that. Y'all already know. The manager out here name is Chelsea. I don't know the next door neighbor name, but he lives in 8206. Y'all already know Brittany Bay, Naples, Florida. I'm going to let y'all know what the fuck is going on because I don't trust these people. I don't know what these people going to do, especially me speaking up about it. What they going to do next? But y'all already know if anything happened to me, you already know who did it. Anybody out here who was gaslighting me, that's who did it. But let me go because this video is already too long and I ain't trying to be uploading this video all night like I did last night. But surprisingly, that video uploaded pretty quickly last night. And um, I guess you could say it's a blessing in disguise because I'm uploading more than I normally would. So, y'all stay tuned for more videos. If you are new to my channel, click that subscribe button and join the family. If you're already a subscriber, press that thumbs up button. Give your brave girl a great big thumbs up because I've been standing standing, um, standing um, 10 toes down on them. And the guy downstairs just slammed the door. I guess that was a mess. I guess he was sending a message to me. But it ain't going to work because I'm going to run my mouth when and however I get ready. I'm going to run it because this is my mouth. Nobody pay for Nikki mouth but Nikki. I get to do what I want. I didn't even introduce myself. What's up, y'all? It's at K Conora. Period. And I'm going to run my mouth because it's mine. And you gaslighting me. And you're going to stop gaslighting me. And I'm going to keep talking about it until you stop gaslighting me. But I just want to thank YouTube as well for this platform to even use my voice. So y'all share my video with anybody and everybody you can. Maybe there's somebody out here in Naples, Florida who's willing to stand up and do the right thing by me. I know y'all don't know me from a can of paint. I know y'all don't. But if you have a heart, you would not allow me to suffer. Because that's literally what I'm doing. I'm literally suffering. I don't have nobody, nothing at all. And like I told you, I ain't speak on this before because I ain't want to look crazy. But now, I don't care how I look. You can say whatever you want to say because I know my truth. And I have no reason to make anything up about nobody. If these people just going about their business, I will go on about my business. I don't live every day for BS and drama. I don't live. I have too much stuff going on. I'm too talented for number one. I'm too beautiful for number two. Like, to even be stuck on BS. BS for low lives people who don't have nothing to offer or give. I got a lot of love to give. You can watch it for a little while. Turn the TV down a little bit as well. I have a lot to offer. I'm not an ugly person. I'm a beautiful person on the inside and the outside. So why would I sit around here and make other people's lives miserable? 
Like they plan on my emotions. They plan on my weakness. They know that I'm just, I'm just an outspoken, charismatic person. Like I literally just get along with everybody. Like I'm a friendly person. Wherever I go, I make friends wherever I go. Like no matter what. It doesn't matter where I'm at. If I'm in jail, I'm making friends. If I'm in a grocery store, I'm making friends. Like no matter where I am, I'm making friends. So I don't deserve to be treated like this. I'm not no stuck up person. Like, no, I'm not. So I'm going to speak my truth and I'm going to let the world know what's going on. So stay tuned for the next video because it, be, it may be even crazier tomorrow. But guess what? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. I got time today, bitch. I got time all day. Excuse me for cussing. Y'all know I'm trying to work on my cussing, but it's terrible today. I give no fucks today at all, at all. And then I'm at the bus stop and the bus pull up, but the bus stop like at the little gate. Cause it's like a, it's like, it's not like a, it's, it, it's like, um, how can I explain this? It's like, it's called the government center. Now the government center it has the buses lined up. That's where the buses line up at to pick people up. Whether it's bus 16, whether it's bus 27, it has the little numbers on the side of the poles. They have like 12 of them starting from 15 on to 27. So the bus is lined up. So one of the bus, when I was walking from Walmart, one of the buses stopped right there at the gate. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why is he stopping? So the gate lifts up, and then when it lifts up, it closes back down. So I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Why didn't he just go through when it lifted up the first time? So he decided to wait until I walk across the street and then lift it up. I already know you were gaslighting me. So I made it my business to walk down there and ask him, like, why did you do that? Like, what was the purpose of that? Like, it did not make sense. And he was like, oh, the uh, the thing wasn't working. I was like, it looked like it was working to me. So while me and him talking, some random ass lady come out of the bathroom and start talking to him and just cut me off. So I shot up. I ain't say nothing. I waited till she was done. Okay. So when she was done talking and she looked like she was about to walk off, I started back talking to him. This bitch come back again and cut me off again. I said, hold up. Don't you see me and him talking? Like, literally, you just going to cut me off? You did it the first time, and I let you slide the first time, but now you're doing it again, and now I know you're trying to do that shit. Like, shut up when the queen is talking. Peasants, shut up when the queen is talking. Period. Like, me and her really got into, a, a like, a, a literally a screaming match. But, bitch, you need to know your boundaries. That's what I'm talking about. Like, bitch, you, you don't know me to treat me like that. To just jump in my conversation. Like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? I will beat your ass out here. The fuck wrong with you? Like, that was so fucking rude. Like, you're not going to know. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to wait till I fucking stop talking. Like, literally, I, let, I gave you a pass the first time, but you're going to come and do it again? Nah, we're not letting that slide at all. I let her know, shut up. Like, you see us talking, you rude as fuck. Shut up. That was rude. But I already know that's because motherfuckers know me. They think they know me. So motherfuckers try me all kinds of ways. And motherfuckers ain't going to be happy till I get on one of their asses. That's what it is. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to go. I'm about to take me a shower because I've been out in the sun all day. But first, before I take me a shower, I'm going to eat me something because I haven't ate. I haven't eaten all day. That's why I know I feel a little better because I really don't have an a appetite. Y'all already know if I'm depressed or whatever like that, I eat. But um, this morning, only thing I ate was some cereal. And I'm not, I'm really not hungry, but I know I need to eat something. So I'm going to go and I'm going to fix me and my son something to eat. But I'll see y'all next time.